one of the simplest ways to write um, functions in MATLAB is by writing anonymous functions. Um, they are pretty temporary for 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 any file, so you just use them once or how many times you need it in that file, and then you just forget about it. Um, so the general format for writing a function, uh, an anonymous function in MATLAB, is you have the variable name on the left hand side. Um, so the variable name when you write functions is called a function handle because it belongs to the class function handle. Um, is assigned. Then you write an at symbol right here to tell MATLAB that this variable right here is a function. And then in here you put input variable. So um, I I'll explain that in a bit what I mean by input variable. And then right after that you write your function. So here for example you have y is assigned at, at um, x because this is our input variable and then you have x squared so this add symbol right here once again tells MATLAB that y is a function um, y itself is called a function handle and then this x is um, you telling MATLAB that you'll be giving the function values of x to put in um, so for for this x is assigned 0 to 10 um, you be giving um, y all these values. Now, if you wanted to, if you if you just run the program, you you'll see that um, you don't get the you don't get the values right away. So to get the values, for instance, zero square, one square, two square, and so forth, what you have to do is you have to assign this function to something else. So you would say for instance g is assigned y of x because x is what you're putting into y now. So g is assigned y of x. If you run this you will see that you get the values of um, the quad you, for, for the quadratic function from 0 to 10. Um, so it's it's that that's all you need to know about anonymous functions. Um, I guess we can do one more example of it. So this time we'll be we'll use a different input variable and a function. So we'll say k, um, I guess, is assigned zero to ten, and our function this time is going to be um, f is assigned at letting MATLAB know that f is a function um, of k because k is our new input variable. And I will call our function. We'll call our function sine of x or sine of k rather sine of k. So this time this is our function. Last time it was x squared. I guess I shouldn't really call it function um, because y is a function. I guess we could call it um, statement that you want it to follow. Um, so you have sine of k here. Now if you want to print it, print the values, you will do um, h is assigned f of k and that will give you the values of the function um, sine of k. So you see that you get all the values you want from 0 to 10. So there, that's basically all there is to function handles. You can make um, other there are other ways of writing functions and I think we'll talk about that in one of the future videos but that's all for function handles and anonymous functions thank you for watching see you next time